Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S, Transform to Succeed. In this video today, I'm going to talk about how you can manage and manipulate the disk and volumes on disks and volumes on Linux operating systems. I'm going to show you first our first task that we'll be working on. So we're going to go uh, here. So we want to create a logical volume, a logical volume, and name it LV01, and which will be equal to uh, LEs, and I'm going to explain that in a moment, in the VG01 volume group with a PE, which is a physical extent size of 8 megabyte, and an extra, and a, and a, a file system, uh, ext4 that's what we'll be using then finally we'll mount the logical volume persistently under mnt lv-01 that is what we will be working on first but before we jump into that i'm gonna uh, uh, define give you some definitions here so to calculate the space required for disk and volume management in Linux, we can use this formula uh, for, formula here on the screen, uh, PE times LE, that's equal to the space that we require. And what is PE? PE is a physical extent. This is the size of a physical storage block on the disk. It's typically set when you create the logical volume manager, LVM group, and and is often a standard size like uh, of uh, four megabytes. LE stands for stands for logical extent, and which represents the number of logical blocks allocated for a logical volume. It is a unit that maps to the physical extent. So now that we are done with the. Uh, uh, some definitions here. So I'm going to take you to the web, uh, to my co command line here. On my command line, what you need to do first is to make sure that you can list all of your your disk here. So if you do, you, you use this command here, fdisk uh, dash L. So it's going to give you a list of all of your your disk, but it may get a little bit confusing here because we're using Ubuntu and and you have, you know, all of this here and which you don't really need. So to make it a little bit shorter, what you can do, you can use also this command here, lsblk. You want to list all of the block, the, the different blocks that you have on your 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 system and and that can allow you to identify you know, you, you know, when you use the lsblk command, you, you, you get the name of the block that you have with the disks, and then you get the size also, as well as the mount points. And we'll be talking about the mount, mount points towards the end of this section here. And, and in our case here, we have two disks. You have the SDA and you have the SDB. SDA, that's the volume storage that came with this specific uh, operating system and then you have the sdb which is the, uh, the the storage that i manually added to the system and in my case in this case it's a, just a flash drive and and at work in a work environment you go, you're gonna manually add uh, uh volumes or storage to your 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 vmware or whatever you're using in that uh, specific specific work uh, uh, environment, but but the approach is pretty much the same here. So I'm gonna clear my screen. So now that we know that our volume here, if you go back here, that what we'll be dealing with is the SDB. So that's what to, that, that's the volume and the disk that we'll be managing here. So I clear the screen, and next thing is to begin uh partitioning this disk kind of like uh, uh, deciding how many slices 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 that, that we want to uh 
get out of this storage. So I do that, and and then the name, you know, the path to this uh, disk is uh, SDB. So when you do this, it's going to prompt you to this uh, window here. And, and if you do M, it will give you the different options that you can take advantage of. Uh, so I'm going to quit. Uh, Q is to quit. Clear my screen. And I go back to that command. And what I want to do, number one, N, the option N, is to create a new partition and then it's going to ask about the partition number that i want to use so I'll, I'll, I'll go with the default which is number one and then i just press enter here and then it's going to ask me about the sector the first sector and again i'll just enter because i'll use the default and and now here it's gonna ask me about the last uh, sector uh, remember if you go we go back to if we go back to our uh, we go back to our system here so we're gonna run that and then give me just give me a moment here so if you go back to uh, to our task here so we want uh, what's the size here we want? So we want to calculate, uh, and, and yeah, I gave you the formula here. So the formula is to calculate that. And when you do that math, uh, when you do that math, you're gonna get to, you're gonna get to 200. Uh, because uh, the size of eight, megabyte so i'm trying to do the math here to get to eight megabytes that's just what we need here so we, in our case we're gonna do uh 200 megabytes instead so let's do 200 megabytes and if you go back to the command line here uh so go to the command line and what we want to add here it's gonna be plus 200 megabyte so that's the last sector that we want to use here. And then you press enter. And it has created uh, a new partition. And, and the next thing we want to do is press the letter T. And here we want to select the uh, partition type or alias type L to list so I'm gonna type L uppercase L to list and and here on this list you know what we need is because we'll be using LVM remember LVM logical volume management and and that is uh, here on Ubuntu where do we have it uh, it should be 8E, but Ubuntu doesn't have it. Uh, it should have it, but I don't know where to find it. So I'll keep looking here. Okay, I'm going to just uh, reduce the size here so that you can see what I'm doing here. Probably you won't see it very well here. Uh, let me move my screen a little bit. So what you enter is 8E to get to uh, to the partition type that you want to use here. So 8E and then press enter. So you have done that. And then uh, uh, the, the next thing is P, the letter P and press enter. And the letter P is, uh, this command will uh, give you the display, as, as you can see here, to say that, so this is what you have, you have done, and the disk label is uh, GPT, and then you have your disk identifier here, 
and and then you have created a Linux uh, file system, and and to make this final, you're gonna have to enter the, the letter W, meaning you want to write to this. And unfortunately, you can't see this. Uh, let me see if I can adjust my screen here uh, quickly. So I want you to be able to see. So this is this is what what I'm doing here. So you see that there's uh, there's W there, and then you add. So this is this is to write, to write the changes to your disk, and then press enter. And and as you can see here, the partition table has been altered, calling, and then the list goes on, and then syncing disks, and then. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But before you uh, uh, finish, every, before moving to the next step here, I'm gonna use this command here, pat probe. What this command does, it will inform the operating system kernel of the partition table changes that have occurred and, and make sure that it's re registered on the system. Even when you, re uh, you reboot uh, your system uh, and everything should be as you want it to be. So press enter and you run this command only as root. You wanna have to run it as root. So after you run that command, the next thing that you're gonna do is now to create, because remember, now you have your disk, right? So if you do this, you, you, you have your disk here. This is your disk. It's a physical disk. And what you have done, you have formatted your disk. You have partitioned your disk. And, and what, what's, what's next is now to create, uh, you have to create a, a physical volume because that, that physical volume, that's what you're going to, uh, out of that, you're going to have to uh, create then the volume group and then be able to build that logical volume that you, you, you have been assigned to, uh, to do. So uh, the first thing, and we know, uh, we know, uh, let, let's do that command again. We know that this is the partition that we are uh uh, we'll be we'll be using right. This is what we'll be using. So uh, so I'm gonna clear the screen again, and then uh, and then here I'm gonna create the physical volume now. So PV create, and this is going to be SDB uh, SDB uh, one. So I'm gonna do that and physical volume successfully created and then now i'll create the uh, volume group out of that and that and then remember this is where we use the eight megabyte the eight megabyte you know per the requirement the eight megabyte and and then we wanna give the name uh, this the name will be zero one here vg dash zero one, and we apply to that same disk. Uh, our partition, press enter. So volume group has been created, and now we can create the logical volume here, L, and then uh, I'm gonna say fifteen there dash n, LV. That's the name that we give to our logical volume, then we'll uh, build that off of the logical, the volume group, VG01. So we've done that and then press enter. And logical volume has been created. And now we're gonna have to uh, create the file system. And the type is ext4. And we apply that to the volume group and the logical volume. 
So this is a this is a commander to use, and and then this this type file system type can be uh, ext2, ext3, could be xfs or xfat. So any anything there, uh, but ex uh, ext4 kind of it's kind of like a standard and uh, and uh, widely used uh, across the uh, the different Linux uh, flavors. So then you press enter, give it some time, and that's done. And what's, once you do that, so the, the next thing is, you remember, you have to, uh, if we go back to our assignment here, if we go back there, go back to our task, our first task, go back to our first task, we, we need to mount all of this, you know, we have created the, uh, the logical volume, the physical volume, uh, first the physical volume, volume group, and then now the logical volume. So we're done with that. So now we need to mount the logical vo volume that we have just created, and we have to mount it on the MNT LV01, uh, meaning that uh, in this you know the mnt that's the mount uh directory which already uh, comes with all of our linux uh systems so what we need to do we we have to go into that directory because it's already there we create the lv01 uh directory and then that's uh, it's only after that we will be able to uh mount uh, our file system to that specific mount point. So MNT LV01 will be our mount point. So that's basically what we're going to do now. So we go back to our command line. Uh, so we what we need to do is to create. We're going to have to create. Uh, hold on, let me readjust my stuff here so that you guys can see better so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to uh, recreate uh, I'm gonna need to create the directory so uh, do dash P and then MNT and then uh, we want to call it L LV uh, let me see so we have the correct name here it's going to be LV01. So let's try that. Uh, okay. It's make deer. Make deer. Uh, I'm going to do dash P. MNT. And then LV. That's the name we want to give it. So that's done. And now... Uh, you know it's it's done so you, you you can verify by doing something like this here to verify that this uh mount po point has been now created so it's 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 there uh and that the next thing you do you need to do now is to go to your uh you're gonna have to go to your your ETFS tab, because this is everything that you put in there, it's gonna be persistent. And then we add, we're gonna add, we're gonna have to add the disk. And in our case, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a dev, uh, dev VG01, LV01. And then our mount point we just have we have just created. It's gonna be this one here. And then the extent the, the the file system type it's gonna be ext4. Then we have defaults here, and then zero there, and zero there. And once you do this, what you do you just uh, quit, and then save it. So that's saved. And, and you can cat to verify. Cat to verify, and you see it's it's 
it's there. Uh, you may not probably see it here. So you, you can see it, it's here. So that's done, I'm gonna clear my screen. And then uh, moving on, uh, I'm gonna, now uh, the next thing that I need to do is to use the mount command to mount everything. So that's done. And if you do the DF, that's another command that can help you uh, display your file systems and uh, the disks and, and and so on. So you have uh, you 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 have your file systems here. You have the dev, SDA, uh, and then you have the SDA one, and then at the bottom here, you have your new file system. See here, the logical volume. So it's also displayed here. And uh, let me see if, if this will, will do anything, probably not. So I'm gonna clear the screen. So pretty much this is how you can answer that, 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 that question. So uh, the task, task number one has pretty uh, been much uh, it's 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 done. So uh, so if we go back, so this is what we have done. We've, we've accomplished our first task, and we're gonna go to our second task. Uh, our second task is gonna be just to extend the LV logical volume uh, by fifty megabytes. So we're gonna jump right into that. We go back to our command line. We wanna clear the screen. And, and what we do here, it's very simple. We just use one command. It's going to be the LV resize command, dash R and dash L, and then 50 megabyte. And, and this is our, our logical uh, volume that we want to extend. So it's going to be, it's going to be VG01 uh, LV. Zero one, then I press enter, and it's doing its job here. And then you see here, you can tell that the logical volume has been successfully uh, resized. And to verify, you do the DF and then HT, and and you can see the file system here has been resized. Uh, so we we've we've what we've done we've added fifty uh, to the size here. So we've added fifty to that size, and I'll clear the screen and we go to our final our final uh, task. Our final task is to uh, our final task. I'm gonna go here. Our final task is to create a two gigabyte swap partition and make it persistent using its uh, its disk uh, uh, identifier. So that's that's our goal here. And how do we accomplish that? Uh, first of all, uh, a swap uh, a swap storage. It's a virtual memory uh, th th that you assign to your to your system. Meaning that if, if your RAM is used to its capacity, then you can, what you can do is you can send some of that, your, you can tell your system that if, if you get to the point where uh, my RAM is close to being fully used or maxed up, then there are some of the applications or services or whatever programs can be sent to my swap so and when you do that it gives some relief to your system and 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 therefore your system will still perform at uh, uh, perform always uh, uh, very well and to do that uh, we need to f disk to see what we have first here so when you do that uh, so I'm gonna take you to the command 
So when when you do that, so you 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 can see all of the disks that you have here, and and and, and the device that we want to use is, is is this one here. So that's the device that we want to use. Uh, so I'm gonna clear my screen, and then I'm gonna uh, do uh, F. Uh, disk. It's pretty much uh, the same stuff here. F disk, uh, then dev sdb. Do that, and we're gonna. It's currently in use. So, so let me let me try to do that. So I'm gonna do that partition. Uh, I'm gonna use the default. Gonna use the, the second partition because the first partition we has been used right so we're gonna now go to the second uh, partition and and here the first sector we just say enter we use the default and for the last sector we want to do two gigabyte here so plus two and then G then we're done with that and and then uh, next we do the, the T to uh, define the, the here's partition number two, yes. That's where we want to apply the, so I'm gonna move it up so that you guys can see uh, everything here. And uh, the partition type uh, here, we want to use 82 because the number 82, that's for Linux swap. So I'm gonna type 80, Two, eight and two, then press enter. And uh, so now I'm gonna enter, uh, I'm gonna enter uh, W to write. So I'm gonna enter W to write and then press enter. So that, that's been done. So we have create, created a partition that we have assigned to be a swap. Uh, uh, partition. So after you do that, then again, you can use the part probe to tell the system that, hey, you need to register uh, the changes that we have applied to this specific disk. And, and now we use the command make swap. Make swap, which would be dev uh, s db. So first of all, we need to know what we have here, SBLK. So SDB, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna use this one, the second one. You see that? We're gonna use the second one. Don't use that, you the first one, it's a logical volume here, remember? And then this is the second partition that we, we're gonna need to use here. So we're gonna make swap and then we're gonna specify the partition SDB2 to make the to I, to to make the correct uh, uh, changes that we need to apply to this specific partition. And you can tell by just looking at this that you know two gigabyte, and we have set our swap space to this size, and and this is the identifier id the user the, the 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 disk id here and make sure that you take note of this because this is what we'll be using on the etf tab okay so you're gonna have to take note of this and you just maybe copy and then paste it someplace you're gonna paste it someplace just create something and that's what I'm doing here. I'm pasting it someplace. Uh, it's someplace here. All right, so we are done with that. And what you need to do now, you have to, uh, you, you, you can verify. You can also get the uh, ID by just doing, using this command here, uh, BLK ID. And then you, uh, you apply that command to the specific, uh, uh, partition SDB2, then you're gonna get the you know pretty much the same display you see here. This is what you need.
Okay, I'm gonna clear my screen and and then I'm gonna go to my ETF stab. And here and I'm gonna add uh the following here is gonna be UUID and then the equal sign and then you open the double quotation marks. Uh, then I'm gonna paste my ID here, then close the double quotation marks, and then I'm gonna say it's a swap space uh, space uh, storage here or disk or whatever, uh, and then default, and then zero space zero. So you have that, and now you just quit and save. Or save and quit first, okay? So that's done, and you can verify if that's done. And and it's done. It's here. You can see it here. Okay, so I'm going to clear my screen. And what I need to do now is to enter the last command, which is going to be swap on. And then dash A. You know, for lo lo logical volumes or any other disks or, uh, that you partitions you add to your partitions you make and and, th and then you create a file system uh, the traditional way or using the logical volume management tool, you you mount everything right, and but but for uh, swap you swap on. Okay, so that you do swap on dash A and then press enter. And then you can uh, use this command here. This command is to check what you have here, how much, uh, 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 you know, what, what swap space you have. And this is what you have. So you uh, originally you had, th this is the memory that you have here, but now you have four gigabyte of memory. So you have total four here and four here. That's 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 very good because if you look at the memory that came with your service, your your, your system here, you see it's only almost two gigabyte. And you only had like one hundred. You know, that's 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 not a lot. So, uh, but here you have four gigabyte. So that's that is very very good. So that's uh, uh, pretty much the end of our uh, demo here. A little bit long, but it's it's a good project. So first of all, we talked about how can you create a logical volume and how to mount it persistently on a given mount point. That's what we did. Then I gave you some definitions of what PE stands for, what uh, uh, LE stands for, and so on and so forth. And then that second task that we did, did, we did was to extend the logical uh, volume by 50 megabyte. And lastly, we uh, created a two gigabyte swap partition and we made it persistent using its UUID. So that's pretty much what we did on, uh, in this specific demo. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. God bless.